So I'm vacuuming two 50 pound refrigerant cylinders simultaneously right now off the stainless steel T that you see right there at the tip of my finger. And as I earlier released of the adapters that you get with your blue vac, as you see here, I'm pulling on these two tanks. I'm down to 45 microns now, and I will leave that running. It'll probably go down to somewhere around 17 microns or so. That's where it kind of steadies off, because uh, I have the silicone hoses on them. I have two. Other than this one, I have a stainless steel line. So this is what you use in laboratories. Uh, they use stainless steel or they use hard rigid pipes that are bent, made out of stainless steel, sometimes copper. And uh, this one just has, happens to be flexible stainless steel. And when you wanna even go get down to deeper micron levels than what synthetic polymers could go like this, then you go over to metal lines. So I'll wait for this to get down and I'm gonna use these as an experiment. I made another video where I injected shop air into this one. I'm, dry, I'm dry going through the process of drying it out again. It took a long time. The video is stuck on and i haven't retrieved it yet on a hard drive because my phone failed last week or the week before and uh so that video is on a hard drive it's not in my phone so i can't easily upload it right now but i might just make the video again i'll get both of these tanks that are brand new and get them down both to 17 microns because i think that's where i max out out 17 microns and pump one up with shop air pump uh, and do nothing but nitrogen in this one put them both on the vacuum pump and show you the difference on the amount of time with the micron gauge how much longer it takes to pump down a clean system that you put shop air once you put shop air in there you contaminate the pores of the metal actually absorb the moisture into the pores of the metal. I already did this, so I know I've done it many times. My dad showed me when I was a kid. Um, this will pump down in a matter of minutes, and this will take several hours extra to pump down just by putting, introducing shop compressed air, and that doesn't even have oil in it. Once you add, like for your Hondas, your PoE oil in there, and then you inject shop air on top of PoE oil, the PoE oil molecule literally latches on to the H2O molecule and doesn't want to release it. And you contaminate the oil. Then not only do you get the moisture into the metal, but into the oil. And every anywhere you have deep oil, you can't get the moisture that is below the coating of oil. It acts as a barrier and slows down the permeation of the moisture from leaving the metal pores to get through the oil to finally be able to get released. So that's future upcoming video, injecting shop air, comparing to a dry tank, and then remake the video all over again and put some PoE oil from a Honda, brand new, out of the can. I'm gonna sacrifice a brand new bottle of PoE oil, put it inside the container, shake it all around, get some shop compressed air in it, put it on there and then show you how many hours it takes to remove the moisture once you have shop air and POE or PAG oil. It greatly increases. All right, see you guys.